sweater she's wearing yes she's not eating she hasn't slept i mean she's got to be exhausted i talked to dad about it he said not to force her that she will eventually maybe it's just not good time Liza, to talk i know what you're gonna say but we're just gonna have to help her through She gets so embarrassed. All the drawings she says, do it. You just get you mad. to say, aren't you getting tired of drawing me? I mean, aside from all the wacky costumes he had me pose in, it was just the same old face. You know, the same nose, same chin. But Stuart always used to say, Marion, your your chin is my inspiration, and your nose, my muse. <laughs> Can you imagine my nose? With his muse. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Mama, I want to talk to you about Stuart. Of course, Liza. I don't mind talking about Stuart. In fact, I love talking about him. We need to talk about his funeral. If you want, we could just take care of it ourselves, if, if that's what you'd like. I don't think we should, uh, Talk about the arrangements just a bit. Yet, I thought, okay. You know, this morning I was in the shower. <laughs> I knocked over Stuart's shampoo. He always forgot to put the lid on it. And as it started spilling into the shower, I yelled out, Stuart, you did it again! <laughs> And then I remembered. <laughs> I never really minded anyway. <laughs> you're right, Liza, you're right. We must, we should make arrangements. <laughs> Everybody who knew Stuart loved him. I'm sure that most of Pine Valley would want to show up to pay their respects. Yes. He deserves to have a fitting send-off. didn't deserve to die alone in that fire. You did. You broke his heart. <laughs> you killed him. Oh, no. Mama. You killed him. You killed him. <laughs> so which one wants to see like this? Come on. Let me see you. Where have you been? I mean, you look like you haven't slept. Have you eaten anything? Do you want me to fix you something to eat? Uh, why aren't you saying anything to me? What's going on? Mrs. Chandler. 
The remanding her husband to Oak Haven immediately. You will get your hands off of him. Can't you see we're in mourning? He's not insane. He's grieving. He's lost his brother. He was never crazy. I should never have committed him. But you did. That means he's in the care of Oak Haven. Mrs. Chandler, we've been over this. I cannot release your husband until there's another hearing. I understand the legalities, Dr. Benton. What I'm asking for is a little human compassion. Dr. Benton, my family is in a state of sorrow and grief. We're trying to plan a funeral here. It's only when and where the hearing is. I swear to you, I will be there. But right now, I'm needed here. So unless you're planning on shooting me, I'm not budging from this spot. Doctor, I'm the last person in the world that should offer an opinion right now, but his family needs him. Surely you gotta understand that. Why don't you leave him alone? They should be together right now. All right. I don't expect you to keep your word and be at that hearing. I know this might be the last thing that you want to do, but arrangements do have to be made. Yes. Of course, yes, they do. I think that we should go and speak with a minister. Yes, you're right. You're right. We, uh, we should do that. All right, well, let's go. Please, I don't want to go. Not yet. Please. I can't be. Not yet. Please. Mama. Mama, he's not coming back. Well, then just leave me here with him. Surrounded by his paintings and his drawings, please. You can make the arrangements, Liza. I trust you. And please don't ask me to leave yet, please. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? I'll be glad to stay with her. You and Adam can go. Okay. No, 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 Chad. Thank you. Thank you, but I, I want to be alone. Actually, I won't be alone. Don't be with Stuart.